So fine, till now uh, we have developed this create task test case in which we have selected the subject to a pop-up and we have attached the file also with the help of pop-up. In this pop-up we attach the file, right? The problem which we were facing was that this date was not getting entered. Okay, so maybe I need to click on this edit box first and then select the date on the basis of X path of the date. So probably what I have to do is that um, I need to um, out here on this line um, yeah on this line I am selecting the date so I'll insert a new command here and the command would be click okay click where in this input box because when I click on this input box a date pop-up comes up this a, a calendar comes up right so I'll select the X path of this copy this and paste it over here first click on that and then enter the date okay so let's run this whole test now and check it out all right so I'll run this and look at the script that executes. It opens the pop-up and see the date also gets entered. Right? The due date is getting entered now. Fine. And uh, somehow the pop-up I miss I close the pop-up by mistake. Okay. So so it has failed on these two lines, right? Uh, let me run it again. In order to show you the date, I accidentally closed the pop-up. So this is the attached file pop-up coming up. The file also will be attached. And in the end, I'll get a message like this. You have uploaded the following file and through my IDE, I have record, I have uh, <clears throat> asserted, I have verified the text is also present, right? Now I have to close the pop-up. So I give the command close. Close command will close the current window on which the uh, uh, current control is there. So it will close the pop-up window. Okay. After closing the pop-up window, I need to click on this save button. So I'll go here and get the X path and click on the save button. Fine. And I'll get I'll, the next command would be to click on click and wait because after clicking on the save button the next page will come up. Okay, save and wait. Right? So this will save the current task and all the attachments and all inside it. Right? So let's run this code. And is the okay okay fine I got a message that current window or frame is closed obviously after firing the close command I need to transfer the control to my main window okay that is I need to copy this command again and paste it here that is transfer the control over back to the main window after closing the pop-up. This close pop-up will uh, close the pop-up in the uh, the attached file pop-up. And after that, I want to transfer the command to the window with title task new bar. I should have written title. It works otherwise as well without title. You should prefer giving title equals to this. Right? Now let's run this. Select the file and all everything. Uh, 
and click and wait has been fired and the page is coming up right and the new lead has been generated the new lead page refreshes itself whenever you click on save the next page is the same one okay so i have created a new lead now right so next test is that so this test has been done create a lead and create a task okay the create task test suite over here is this one i have not inserted any verification or assertion in between it if you want to you can you can download the code this code will be present uh, on your home page you can download it from there right and you can include these test cases in your local machine all right the last thing is delete the lead and and two test cases are left check the date and delete a lead all right now delete a lead this will actually help out how to handle the javascript messages all right so suppose i create a new lead okay or i go to the lead uh, george matthew over here okay so as soon as i click on the delete button i get this pop up this is a javascript alert message box i need to click on okay using selenium right now this okay has got if you try to use firebug you will not get an x part for this okay because this is a javascript message you either need to click on okay or need to click on cancel fine so i need to delete this tom hanks okay or i need to delete george matthew okay so how do we handle the javascript alert messages with the help of selenium right uh, well that can be done very easily with the help of a command called store alert okay i'll just i'll just demonstrate right i'll make a new test in this give it a name known as delete lead all right now the first command over here would be to click on the link george matthew suppose i have to need to paste this link right the link would be you can directly write link equals to george matthew like this in the target as well instead of giving the x path you can give the name of the link as well after clicking on it if i click if i double click on this line the george matthew link page will open i have to click on this delete button if i get the x path of this delete button then this is the x path so that is the command should be click and wait because the page changes right after that i have to give the click command on this x path now as soon as i click on this delete button a pop up comes up i want to click okay and i also want to extract the text from this pop up suppose right so what i can do is i can write that a uh, command can be store alert okay store alert this command store alert uh sorry sorry i'm sorry the command is store confirmation because that's the confirmation okay store confirmation target is b okay target is b so store confirmation in the target b the text of the confirmation will be stored in the b see the message return the message of the confirmation dialog okay and it will also have the same effect as if you are manually clicking on the okay button so store confirmation will give you the text of the dialog as well as the uh, as well as it will give you that uh, it will really need to click on the okay button basically right it if you click on the okay button as well as it will it will store the that text value in the b variable so i'll write the command echo value as dollar b okay now let's run this 
Okay, let's run this test. So this will click on George Matthew and it has deleted George Matthew. If you look at the logs, are you sure is printed over here? Right? So I get the text are you sure over here it is echoed. Fine. Now it's your homework today to actually verify the text. Okay, just do some research work. You have to verify that are you sure is act is the actual value, whether it meets the whether it matches the uh, expected value or not. Fine. So that's it, guys. All right. Thank you for today. Tomorrow we will be parameterizing these test cases. We will be writing some user extensions which will be parsing the XML through DOM and we will be parameterizing our test cases. Alright, thank you.